The pussy bow or tie collar is a vintage style that always comes back in fashion due to its simple elegance and femininity. The collar is a long tie that usually ties in a bow in the front of the neckline. There are variations to the style, but in this tutorial, you can see one example of how this collar is created. Let's get started. I've already started to create my bodice by sewing the bodice front and back sections together. The first thing that's always a good idea when sewing any type of collar is to stay stitch on the bodice neckline, both the front and back neckline. The stay stitch is just a regular length straight stitch that you sew inside the seam line of the neckline. Mine's at a half inch. You're not sewing anything together at this point. Its purpose is to reinforce the neckline so that it maintains its shape and doesn't get stretched out during the collar sewing process. Before you cut your tie pattern pieces out of your fabric, be sure to look at the grain line and the pattern layout. Many times these patterns should be placed diagonally, also known as on the bias of the fabric. You always want the grain line arrow to be parallel with the selvage. After you have your pieces cut out, you may have to sew the straight ends together. Out of my one tie pattern piece, I cut out two fabric pieces and then pin them together on the straight edge right sides together. This is because the finished length of the tie is longer than most fabric widths. Sew this straight edge at your sewing machine using your pattern standard seam allowance, 5 eighths of an inch in my case. Press the finished seam open. Now my tie piece is one long piece and I'll fold it in half lengthwise right sides together and pin these raw edges together. I'll sew a standard seam on the pin sides, but I need to leave an opening so I could turn the tie right side out. I'll put a pair of X pins at the large circles that I had on my pattern. Your symbols may vary. Stitch the seam, but there will be no stitches between the X's. When you finish stitching, trim the seam allowance of the stitched area only and clip off the corners. Turn the tie right side out using your opening. Press the tie so you have nice crisp edges. Take the raw edge of one side of the tie opening and fold up your seam allowance to the wrong side so I do 5 eighths of an inch and pin. After you press it, trim it so that only half of it remains about 3 eighths of an inch in my example. Now I'm going to take my last raw edge of my opening, the unfolded side, and match it to the neckline of my bodice. Right sides of the fabric should be placed together, matching the raw edges and any pattern marks and symbols. Stitch the tie and neckline together. Once they're stitched together, you can trim your seam allowance and press it so that the seam allowance is going up inside the tie collar. Now refold the tie collar in half so that your previously folded edge covers our previous neckline seam and pin it so that everything looks nice and neat. Lastly, we just need to slip stitch the tie opening closed by attaching the bottom of our collar edge to the inside of our neckline. I'm using a contrasting thread color on my hand needle so it's a little bit easier for you to see. I'm first coming out at the bottom edge of this collar section and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the neckline, gently pull this and then go back to the folded edge of the collar. And you want to take small stitches so it looks nice and neat. And now I'm going to grab a little bit of the inside of my neckline, pull that through and then back to the collar. So just zigzagging between the two sides until you've done the whole collar where you have your opening. In my example, I did not use any interfacing in my collar because these type of collars are supposed to look very soft and drapey. If you feel your fabric needs a little extra stability, you can use a sheer weight interfacing. The only thing left to do is to tie it in a bow and then show off your new fashionable collar. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.